Hey guys, we're going to work on this warm up. We're doing this in place of our practice sheet for this week. Please make sure you show this on a sheet of paper so you can upload it. Okay? My suggestion is you let me read the problem, then pause it, try to solve it, and then check your answer. So, Leo wants to buy some shoes. He found the shoes at three different stores for a price of $35. The stores are each having a sale. Store X is offering 15% off the price of the shoes. Store Y is offering $5 off the price of the shoes. And Store Z is offering one-fifth discount off the price of the shoes. Okay? Which statement about the sale price of these is true? Okay? So I said here to show your work and put the final price next to each store. Not the off, but the final price. Okay? So one thing we know is our... TWO, total whole original, that's right there. That's the regular price for the store, okay? So store X is offering 15% off, okay? So 35, and what do we do with this? Change the percent to a decimal and multiply. So 15%, we move it 1, 2. So it'll be 0.15, okay? So let's multiply. 25 carry the 2. 15 plus 2, 17, okay? So we just multiplied this. We did the 5. So now we're going to do the 1, okay? So I'm going to hold my spot. 1 times 5. 5. 1 times 3, 3. 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. 1, 2, 1, 2. So our next question should be what does this represent? This represents the off because 15% represents the off. So we do. $35, take away the off, which is $525. Notice what I did there was I changed $35. I put decimal zero, zero, because we have change here. So remember, this one, the first one becomes a 10. The second zero becomes a 9. It would become a 10 first, but then it has to help this one, so it becomes a 9. Okay, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. I cannot do 4 minus 5, so I have to regroup again. 14 minus 5 is 9 and 2. Okay? So the sale price for store X is $29.75. Okay? So none of them here say $29.75. And it says store X has the best sale price of $20. Well, that's not the sale price, so that cannot be correct. Okay? So then it says store Y is offering $5 off the price. Oh, that's an easy one, right? 35 It's $5 off. So I already have money and money. Nothing tricky here. We just subtract, and we get 30 So. This one says store Y has the best sale price of $30. Well, yes, it's $30, but is that the best sale price? That's going to be a no. That's false, okay? Because this one is less than this one, okay? So now let's do store Z. Store Z is offering one-fifth off the price of the shoes, okay? So in order to do one-fifth, what I do, there's different ways. If you know what one-fifth is as a decimal, which is 20%, you can change that to a decimal and multiply, okay, and then subtract it off. What I would do is want to take one-fifth of 35 is I would divide, break 35 
into five parts, which is seven exactly, right? So one fifth off. Okay, one fifth off means seven dollars off. Okay, that actually means this one is incorrect because seven dollars is not the sale price. Okay, thirty five take away seven. That becomes 15, that becomes two. Eight, two. So this is $28. So the best one is G, okay? So you have to be real careful here with the wording and double check your numbers because we could easily see that seven, right? That makes us think it's this one, but that's not the sale price. So our answer is store Z, which is G, okay? which is also the lowest of the three prices.